All right, well, we have a lot to talk about out there in the tropics right now. So let's break it down piece by piece, starting with Hurricane Umberto. Now, this became a hurricane early this morning with the 5 a.m. update from the National Hurricane Center, actually expected to be a major hurricane as this continues to progress further into the Atlantic. The good news with this system, if we're in the eastern United States, not really expected to impact us. In fact, not really expected to impact the continental United States at all. Kind of a similar path to what we saw with Gabrielle, although interest in Bermuda should still pay attention to the path of this storm. But again, intensifying into a major hurricane by sometime this weekend into a category four by the end of the weekend and then continuing to push further east into the Atlantic by early next work week. The reason we even really need to talk about Umberto is because it will have impacts on another system that we'll need to be watching as we head into the weekend and the upcoming work week. So here's an overview of the Atlantic Basin. Remember, if you remember, we do still have Gabrielle, but this is a post tropical system now. Really, we're mainly watching Umberto and Invest 94L, which for us here in Georgia is something that we're going to want to be paying attention to as we head into the upcoming weekend. So what exactly are we dealing with here? Well, it was a tropical wave over here towards Hispaniola. Now, the thing is, while it was over this region, the mountains in the region were really disrupting the system. So over the last few days, it hasn't really had the chance to organize. Now it's starting to drift towards the north and as it moves away from the mountains closer to the Bahamas, it's got a better chance at organizing and becoming more of a centralized system. And that is actually what's happening as of 2 p.m. Today, with the latest update from the National Hurricane Center, they do note that this system is moving further closer towards the Bahamas, further towards the north, and now is beginning to have the chance to find a centralized low pressure and organize its, addition, its showers and thunderstorms a little bit better. So we need to really pay attention to this as it drifts over the Bahamas and further into this region, because that is where this system could really start to get its act together. Now, what about the track? That is really the big question that we have heading into the weekend and heading into the early work week. I want to show you the spaghetti models just to kind of show you there is a ton of uncertainty as we head into the next couple of days here. I mean, this is a true lack of organization between the spaghetti models here. There is a lot of different scenarios and a lot of them have to do with the movement of Umberto. So these systems could really impact each other. There's a scenario in which Umberto could drag this system further out towards the sea or push it a little bit further inland. We kind of just have to see how these systems progress over the next couple of days and which ones end up taking dominance in the atmosphere. But there is now, as of the last couple of days, a scenario in which this is now trending towards a landfall somewhere along the coastal Carolinas here, potentially even the Georgia coast or the Florida Peninsula as well. So overall, it's something that we just need to pay attention to over the next couple of days. But also notice it's something that won't have a ton of time to get to its destination. So as we head throughout the weekend, there's going to be a lot and a lot of changes over the next couple of days. We're talking about likely seeing this form into a tropical depression sometime by the end of the day today, Friday, or sometime early Saturday. Then by the time we're talking about Sunday evening, we could already be sitting at Tropical Storm Imelda. So that's a lot of changes in only a matter of two days. Then by the time we get to the early work week, Monday, that is when we're starting to talk about seeing this thing make its way towards landfall. So let's just take a look at the graph model here and see how this progresses this system. So again, as we climb throughout the rest of the weekend into the early work week here, again, this is early Monday morning. Now this is just one model run. You saw a lot of the disagreement there, but this already has the system making its way towards the eastern U.S. coast here. Again, that's early Monday morning. So we really just need to pay attention over the next couple of days, the progression of this storm, how strong it's getting, because we'll start to have a lot more details come into focus as we get a little bit closer. We'll kind of play the long range models out here. Similar thinking by both of those models. Still some back and forth as to how much pull Umberto is going to have. But overall, there is starting to be this trend towards thinking that this could make landfall along the eastern U.S. coast. Again, how strong it's going to get, that is still up to for question as well as we go throughout the next couple of days. So the big thing that you need to take away from this system as a whole is just to pay attention for updates. There's going to be a lot of information coming out about this storm as we head through the day Saturday and as we head through the day Sunday. A lot of the questions that we have right now will come into focus throughout those two days as well. As always, we'll have updates here with our 13 WMAZ weather team for the latest.